Hi there, if you remember, I defined a simple project in the previous video and also designed a production line with the factory I.O. software. In this video, I'm going to complete and test the project. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content we have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI, and microcontroller-based developments. My name is Syed Reza, and if you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell, to receive the latest and the greatest content, I will be posting through the channel. Okay, in the previous video, I've written simple programs to turn on and off the warning light, and also the lights of the start and stop push buttons. Now let's create another network to write a program for the alarm siren. Okay, when I press the start push button, the alarm siren should be on only during the first five seconds. So let's use a pulse timer. Remember. This bit of memory start request is activated and deactivated with the start and stop push buttons respectively. Now I'm going to use the timer instructions to write appropriate programs for these four actuators. Remember, when I press the start push button, these actuators should be started from the end of the production line. And when I press the stop push button, these actuators should be stopped from the beginning, I mean from the emitter to the remover. Okay, inside a new network, let's try the program for the remover. Well, two conditions should be satisfied for turning on the remover. First, the start request speed of the PLC memory should be enabled by pressing the start push button. And the second condition is when the alarm siren is turned off. In other words, when the alarm siren generates a negative edge. Now let's determine when the remover should be stopped. It should be stopped after the second bell can be here. In other words, when the Q0.2 address generates a negative edge. Well, with this program, the remover will be stopped right after the second bell can be here. So let's use an extended pulse timer with the negative RLOH detection to have a delay between these two actuators. Now, when the second bell can be is turned off, the remover will be stopped after two seconds. 
Note that I can also use branches to add other start or stop condition. Now let's try a similar program for the second build career. Again, let's use an output call in instruction and an SR in instruction. Okay, the second pair can be here should be started after the removal. To have a delay, let's use an undelay timer after this contact of the removal. Now my PLC will start the second build conveyor two seconds after the removal. Note that the stop condition is similar to the previous network. So let's copy and paste this part of my program. Okay, the second build conveyor should be stopped about 5 seconds after the first build conveyor. Note that I also need to change these addresses because I've used them in the previous network. Now let's copy this network and use that for the first build conveyor. It should be run about 5 seconds after the second build conveyor and stop 2 seconds after the emitter. Finally, let's write a program for the emitter. I want it to start its work two seconds after the first bell can be added. Well, the emitter should be turned off right after the stop push button is pressed without any delay. So let's delete this part of my program.
All right, I finished the programming step. Now let's save the program and then use the PLC sim simulator as our virtual PLC station. As you see, I can use the PLC scene simulator to test my program. But let's connect it to the design production line by factory IO. That's simple. I'll explain the connection process between the factory IO software and the PLC scene simulator in the previous videos. Note that if you cannot connect factory I.O. to the PLC SIM simulator, run this software as an administrator. Maybe this method solves your connection problem. Now, let me connect the equipment to these PLC addresses according to my simple statement. All right, let's sort the open windows to have a better view of my project. Note that I loaded the program on the virtual CPU and also I connected its inputs and outputs to the equipment of the production line. Let's press the start push button. Well, my program is not working correctly because it started the emitter right after the first bell premiere. Alright, it seems here I have a mistake. These two timers are working continually. As you see, I've used the T5 timer for both of them. So I need to use another name for the last timer to solve this problem. Okay, let's press the stop push button. As you see, the second bell conveyor needs a little more time to move all boxes. So let's increase the related time in my program.
again let's download my program and test the final project Okay, we reach the end of this video. In the next videos, I'll extend this project using the content instructions. Thanks for watching this video. Take care. Thanks for watching my content. If you have any question on this topic, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. And if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.